So let's get into some ATP and WK tennis as we um, get a quick recap of the um, whole tournament and then um, we'll preview our finals for this weekend. So it's been an incredible tournament. There's been so much going on, so many storylines, um, amazing upsets including Andy Murray, Angelique Kerber, Novak Djokovic going down. But the main story has got to be our finalists who are in the um, Australian Open. So let's check them out. Okay, so in the women's final on Saturday, we have Venus Williams and Serena Williams. It is going to be so exciting to see um, the two oldest players um, in the almost in the whole uh, tournament play. And then in the men's final on Sunday morning, we have Roger Federer and Rafa Nadal. What a classic matchup that will be. So it will be um, amazing tennis to watch. I am so excited for this weekend. I mean, this is just an incredible finals. Two great matchups, two great rivalries between the Williams sisters and Roger Federer and Rafa Nadal. So I'm definitely going to be up at about 2 a.m. on both mornings for those finals. It's going to be awesome tennis. Okay, so let's look at our um, college basketball rankings as we look at the top five for this week. So we've got number one Villanova, number two Kansas, number three Gonzaga, number four Kentucky, and number five Baylor. Well, it may not be um, like this next week because Villanova, Kansas, and Kentucky lost. So that's three out of, out of the four in the top four and three out of five in the top five lost. Kentucky lost to Tennessee, Kansas lost um, to West Virginia the other night, and Villanova also lost too. So um, we, we might see a shakeup in the rankings next week, but um, we'll see um, probably, I, I think we'll see Kentucky and Kansas get knocked out because they're playing each other this weekend. Okay, so let's look at the um, top four in the Premier League as we look at the updated table. Okay, so Chelsea is still in first place at 55 points, then Arsenal at 47 points, then Tottenham at 46 points, and then Liverpool is at 4th and 45 points. What is up, guys? I'm with my celebrity guest picker, Lee Gibbons. Um, Lee, welcome to the show. Nice to be here, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Lee is a um, basketball player for Trinity. He, he knows swag on the court. Right? I mean, I, I came to his uh, game the other night. He was, he, was, he was swagging on the court. He also plays um, tr Trinity for Trinity soccer team. Um, he's, he's, a, he's just a beast out there, too. I mean, beast at everything. You, he knows swag, fashion here. So, um, so um, we're going to get into some sports um, discussion and we'll make some picks. Okay, so um, since Lee's on the Trinity b basketball team, I gotta ask you, Lee. Um, well, you know, Trinity's been doing well. I, I went to a couple of their games. You know, they um, look, look look sharp. So, um, what do you, what do you think the outlook is for Trinity um, for the rest of the season? Um, it's state championship or bust. You know, it's, it's, we gotta take we gotta bring home the bacon. You know, we yeah. gotta take home the ship. Yep, yeah. Um, so you, you got a good team out there. But besides you, you know, you got Lee Schusler, Brady Watts, Matt Humphrey, Jordan Sidley. I mean, just a great uh, squad out there. Oh, yeah. Um. So uh, and also Ellis Godwin too. He, he's a, he's a beast. So what's it like just playing with those guys and I'm um, just you know getting to um, go out there on the court with them every day? Uh, just incredible. You know, really all caught uh, all star. Starts with uh, Stormin Norman Godwin, a oh, coach. Yes. Um, he just brings it every day, brings intensity, uh, brings the bow tie game. Oh yes, oh yes. Um, and then it just goes down. You got, you know, Brady White Chocolate Watts <laughs> out there. He just wets threes. Every I game. saw him that other game, man. He wet threes. Oh man, just shloop, right, right through the hoop. Right, right in that sucker. Yeah. And then uh, Lee Shoe search banging down low. Um, mm -hmm. We call him Big Daddy sometimes. <laughs> and then Ellis, you know, he cut his hair, but uh, his skills haven't changed any. You know, mm -hmm. still just an incredible player. Yeah, I saw, some, I saw someone with a sign that um, had Bald Eagle. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Bald Eagle Ellis. Oh uh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> oh, that was that was hysterical. So also, um, you know, we've got Auburn here. So I, w I want you to um, tell me uh, Auburn basketball. So we, you know, we struggled. We lost the other night against South Carolina. 
Um, we're three and five, but we've had a good season out of conference. So, what do you think? Um, do you think Auburn could make the tournament? Oof. I mean, yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, it'll be anything can happen, man. Yeah. We still got a long way to go. Um, thing I will say about Auburn: shout out to my boy Patrick Khan. Oh, that um, guy's a beast. wet a three right in the guy's mouth. Yeah. And uh, the last seconds of the Alabama game, love that guy. Mm -hmm. um, but no, nah, I mean, we got tons of talent, you know, Mustafa Heron, Dangel oh, yeah. just came back from his uh, ankle injury, so I mean, we got tons of talent. Uh, Dang, Austin Wiley, though. Oh, dude, Austin that's a grown Wiley. man right there. Yeah, that's fun. a grown man. I don't know how, he's just, he's grown. He, those boys need to quit bringing it in, like, like, in his house. Like, at the LSU game, I thought, like, Chuck Barkley was out there on the court. And oh, stuff. yeah, 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 yeah and I looked down, I said, oh, Chuck's on the, on the side, I thought Chuck was on the court. Yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> definitely. Okay, so let's get into some picks with Lee as we start out with the Super Bowl. So, Lee, the Super Bowl is not um, you know, this Sunday, but it's next Sunday. But I, I, while you're here, I just want to get your opinion on that game. Um, well, you know, Atlanta is the closest pro sports team here. And, uh, you know, a lot of people kind of, you know, everybody's get hopping on the Atlanta bandwagon right now. They've blown out the past the teams they've played in the playoffs. But uh, ever since I was 12 years old, when I was little fat Lee, you know, back in the day, little <laughs> chunky monkey, yeah. um, huge Patriots fan. Oh, yeah. Tom Brady, maybe the sexiest man alive, who knows, awesome guy, he can sling that pigskin, let me tell you what. Uh -huh. um, gotta go Patriots here, just uh -huh. way too much skill, I know Gronk's injured, you know, you got Chris Hogan, the man, they just got way too much talent on that team. The defense is too good. Mm -hmm. Bill Belichick's probably the smartest man in the world. Um, mm -hmm. Love those guys. The Patriots are going to win. Yeah, I, that, that's a good pick. I can't make my pick till next um, week's show. <sighs> I, I know, I know. Uh, it's 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 standard rules here, so <laughs> okay. I, I can't let people know too early. So um, we'll, we'll save that my pick for next week. But um, we're gonna get into the next week game, which is Kansas and Kentucky, um, big showdown of two um, powerhouse clubs in in college basketball. Um, well, I'm gonna have to go with Kentucky on this one. Mm -hmm. Wildcats, um, they're wilding out there in Lexington. You know, they know how to play, man. They can get up and down the court. Malik Monk, just freaking animal. Just tons of talent on that team. Got to go with Kentucky. Yeah, um, I have to go with Kentucky. I think they're playing at home in Lexington. I think Kansas will put up a good fight. It might oh, go yeah. to overtime. It would be a really good game to watch um, if you're a um, big basketball fan. But I'm going to go with Kentucky, too. I, I think Malik Monk makes um, enough plays to give them a victory, for sure. So the next game we have is Florida and Oklahoma. This is part of the um, Big 12 um, SEC Challenge that's going on. Um, so who do you think is going to win this game? Um, well, judging off the fact that Auburn beat Oklahoma earlier this year mm -hmm. and that Florida, they're just the dirty boys, man. Mm -hmm. Got to go with the Gators on this one. Okay. Florida okay. definitely takes home the, the, the W on this one. I'm going to go with Oklahoma and upset. Yeah, they beat West Virginia um, in Morgantown, and they're a decent team. And, and Auburn beat a good Oklahoma team, and they, they were in the Final Four last year. They lost on um, Buddy Heald, but they still have some good players on that yeah. team. I think they get the upset on Florida. Dang. Okay. All right. <laughs> so um, the next game we have is um, Miami and North Carolina. So who do you think is going with this game? Well, it's going to be the Tar Heels. Mm -hmm. um, some people are saying it's a trap game, but. Uh, Man, North Carolina is just too good, you know. They just got my boy Justin Jackson. I mean, that's Brady Watts essentially out there. I mean, they're like the same type of player, exactly. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Um, just way, way too much talent. Um, they're too big. I, I think North Carolina will take it home. Yeah, I got North Carolina in this one too. I, I, I think all for the same reasons. They're, yeah. they're just a bigger program, and Miami's will probably put up a fight. Um, but I think North Carolina will get the victory. Um, the next game we have is Notre Dame and Georgia Tech, also another a ACC basketball game. So who do you think is going with this game? Um, you know, this is also another trap game, but uh, I, for some reason I'm just feeling the big programs this week. Got to go with Notre Dame. Um, 
You know, they're just. They're, I think they're just gonna be the superior team. Yeah, um, I've got Notre Dame in this one. Um, I, I think Georgia Tech did beat North Carolina, but I think um, Notre Dame just, they've got um, a lot of key players on their team. I think um, they're too much for the Yellow Jackets. Oh, yeah. So the last game we have is um, Lee Givens' um, Trinity basketball team is going to play Westwood tomorrow night in Covington in um, Opelika. So be there, be square. Um, so, um, Lee, who do you think is going to win this game? Well... Some people are saying Westwood has a shot, but uh, what I have to say to Westwood is whatever major loser. Ooh. No no way they take home the win. There's no way. Um, another prediction I have for that game, my prediction is that, all right, first of all, some pe you know the Walkers, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. all right? Some people think that Gray's name is Gray, but his name is Gary. His, really? yeah, his parents actually wrote it down wrong on his birth certificate. His name is Gary. Huh? Yeah, his, <laughs> I know it's a surprise, okay, but okay. my prediction is that Gary is going to get in a fight. And that's, y'all need to come out and see it. His, it only takes a little bit to push him over the edge. My prediction is he gets in a fight, come out of Trinity this Thursday night. JV plays at 5, Varsity plays at 6. You're going to want to see it, trust me. Okay, trust me. okay, definitely. It was very entertaining the last game they played, the Wilson Warriors. That was that was a very interesting game on and off the court. Uh, it was, it's it's a hard-fought matchup against Wilson every time we play. Oh, yeah, um, but, um, so that should be an interesting game, and I think Trinity will win, too. Just, there's too many X-Factors. I mean, we got this guy right here, Lee Schusler, the Beast, and <laughs> Brady beast. Watts. I mean, you just, you just can't stop this Trinity team. They're flying right now. I think it's state championship all the way. Thank you guys so, so much for watching the show today. It was a really good show as Lee came on. Um, thanks Lee for coming on the show. It was, it, was, it was awesome to have you. Um, don't forget guys, you can subscribe down below using the red button that says subscribe. And you can check me out on Snapchat at aHealing1 and on Instagram at HealingAndy1 to get more um, live um, exclusive content from my show. And um, don't forget guys, you can watch some of my older shows um, just by looking, looking at my channel on YouTube. And um, thank you guys for watching. I'm Andy Healing, and this is the Healing Sports Report.